Hey everybody and welcome to this video with myself, Sarah Lean. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the most common troubleshooting things that people have asked me about the Azure Arc agent over the last year. So let's dive in. First up, one of the common issues I see people trying to understand is if the Azure Arc agent is actually installed on the server. Now, there are two ways you can confirm if it's installed or not. Method one is to navigate to the control panel, then click on uninstall a program and you should see the Azure connected machine agent listed there. If it's not, the agent isn't installed. Method two is to open up PowerShell and type in the command azcmagent space version. And this command will confirm if the agent is actually installed and show you the version that's installed as well. Now, if you get an error, it means that the agent isn't installed. Now, you might want to check the status of your agent, maybe to double check what subscription it's connected to or to check the configuration of it. And again, we can use the AZCM agent command and a different switch to actually check what the agent is doing and its current status. So if we open up PowerShell and type in AZCM agent space show, and this will result in you having information about what Azure resource group, resource ID, the subscription ID, the tenant ID, the Azure region that your agent is connected to, where it's pushing your log files to and any configuration settings or even any errors that the agent has produced um, during its time of running. So this command, the AZCM agent show command is actually quite useful for a lot of different scenarios. Now log files are really important for troubleshooting and by default the Azure Arc agent puts them in a folder called program data and then in the Azure connected machine agent folder and then the log folder. Now if we head on over to Windows Explorer and head into our C drive, um, the program data folder is actually a hidden folder. So we need to click on view and then tick the hidden items so that we can actually see that folder. So. We then have that folder visible to us and we can go into program data, then Azure connected machine agent, then log. And if we open up the himds.log file, we can see that we've got our logs here. However, this log file is quite hard to read. And of course we could use a dedicated log viewer tool to actually view the file. But if we don't have one of those handy or we don't have one installed, we can actually view it using PowerShell. So. If we head on over to a PowerShell command and type in get-content, then the location of that log file, and then do dash tail and then space five, we actually can see the last five entries in the log file, which should be able to help us read it better and also troubleshoot what is happening. Now you can obviously view more if you change the number in the PowerShell script to suit your requirements. If you want a copy of any of the commands that I've just mentioned on screen, head to the description box where I have a link that takes you to those commands. So do check that out. The Azure Arc agent communicates with a lot of Azure URLs and one way of routing that traffic in your environment out to Azure is through a proxy server. Now, you may need to clear that proxy server setting on a specific agent or even change the proxy server um, on the agent to another proxy server. And again, we can use the AZCM agent command to actually achieve those um, desired configurations. So if we want to clear the proxy settings, we can use the command AZCM agent config clear proxy.url. And that will clear whatever proxy settings we have with this agent. However, if we want to change what proxy server or agent is actually using, we can use another command. So we can use azcm agent space config space set space proxy.url. And then inside quotation marks, we can put the URL of our proxy server, remembering to use the correct HTTP and the port number for that server as well.
Now, as we know, Azure Arc connects through a bunch of URLs to collect and send data back to Azure. There can be a lot of URLs that you need to make sure that your server has access to. And if you miss one or two of these, it can cause quite a lot of issues, either for the agent or for any of the extensions that you have enabled with the Azure Arc agent. So to check the URLs the agent needs as a minimum to work, you can use this command azcmagent space check space dash dash location space UK South obviously changing the Azure location as necessary. The command output will show you what URLs the agent needs to communicate with, what method of communication that it's specifically using, for example, public internet, private endpoints, or even proxy. And it will show you if it's successfully accessing those URLs or not successfully accessing those URLs. So you can actually troubleshoot and amend as appropriate. Now, if you have extensions enabled, there may be additional URLs that are needed to enable its features. For example, if we want to use the SQL Server extension, we need additional URLs open on top of those that the agent already uses. To check those, we can use another command. So we can use azcmagent space check space dash dash extensions space SQL space dash dash location space UK South. We can see from this output, if we actually compare the two outputs on our screen, there are additional URLs needed for that SQL extension that we need to make sure are open. If you want a copy of any of the commands that I've just mentioned on screen, head to the description box where I have a link that takes you to those commands, so do check that out. Now what happens if the agent is installed and it's not connected or if the agent is become disconnected for whatever reason, we can actually re-establish that connection using a specific command again. Now when you do do that command to actually re-establish the connection, you need to provide Azure credentials and you can do that in one of two ways. So you can either allow the command to prompt you for your username and password if you have the right permissions assigned to your Azure account or you can actually use a service principle that you've pre-created with the right permissions to actually onboard the Azure Arc agents to your environment. So in this example, I'm going to use the service principle um, example to be able to reconnect this Azure agent. So to reconnect this Azure agent, I've got a PowerShell command and I've got a bunch of variables at the start that define things like the location, the Azure resource group, Azure subscription, Azure tenant, service principle and service principle secret that I need. And this is what I need to provide the agent with in order to establish a connection to Azure. Now I can enter the command azcmagent space connect and reference all of those declared variables and connect the agent. If you want a copy of any of the commands that I've just mentioned on screen, head to the description box where I have a link that takes you to those commands. So do check that out. And that's a wrap, folks. Now, if you've noticed anything about this video, you'll notice a theme throughout it. And that is the AZCM agent command. It is pivotal to being able to troubleshoot and interact with the Azure Arc agent, either to install it or after it's installed as well. So make sure you're aware of this command, make sure you're aware of all the switches that come with this command. It is pivotal to being able to understand and manage your Azure Arc agent on your servers. Thank you for tuning in folks. And if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. I really do appreciate all the support I get and I'll catch you in another video.